To the left, right? Yep. Thank you. I did, and there's the boss. Here, play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So in the previous video, we got all the vector components installed and then carved out some of the foam to expand the battery compartment. Now I need to get my pan-tilt servo wires installed in here and then we'll put the other half of the shell on and just tape it temporarily, put the wing on and see if we can balance the CG. So I've connected my pan tilt wires right here on channels 7 and 8 of my Easy UHF receiver. And then I've run the wires around underneath here and straight up to the front. There we go. Right here and right here is where they're coming out. I have taped the two sides of the fuselage together with some painter's tape in preparation to put it on the CG machine. In case you're wondering, this is the CG machine. According to the manual, the center of gravity is 85 millimeters from the leading edge of the wing at the root. 85 millimeters is right about here. So I've got my CG machine upside down here and the two arms are here and here centered on the wing and I have put two marks and a little X where the CG point should be when I go to balance it. The wing is now screwed to the top of the fuselage in preparation to check the CG. So here is the multiplex twin star on the CG machine and you can see where the arms are fitted on the blue X's and now we're going to try some different batteries. Now the first battery I'm trying is a 3 amp 4 cell LiPo. They'll all be LiPos, but you can see it down in there in the fuselage and I've got my video equipment piled up here, a couple of cameras and my pan tilt just for weight. And that battery works pretty good, but I just still had to add a little weight to the rear back here just to keep it balanced. So I'm really surprised about this. I thought this plane would be tail heavy because of the servos being in the rear and some of the equipment in the rear, but no. It's actually going to be a little tricky getting the batteries in place. It's not tail heavy at all. Okay, now trying the 5 amp 4 cell battery. Okay, with the 5 amp 4 cell LiPo we're definitely dealing with some nose heaviness and I had to add a lot of weight in the back. I've got one of the 2.2 amp batteries back there just as a weight to hold the tail back down a little bit. So that battery either needs to go back even more, which is going to be hard to do, or add some weight in the back. Perhaps a video battery back there. We shall see. Now I don't have a 4.5 amp battery to try but I'm thinking a 4.5 amp uh, 4 cell might work just about right or even a 4000 a 4 amp so that's what I found out so far I've added my video transmitter I may not use the 5.8 though I may be using the 1.3 or 1258 but anyway that's just for weight uh, so I've got my video transmitter there and I found that's going to make it more nose heavy Looks to me like my best solution is to add a video battery towards the rear, maybe in this rear compartment back here, to balance everything out. And actually, it'd probably be better to have a separate video battery anyway. So to balance the CG, I decided to put a battery down in here for my video battery. In order to do that, I had to make a special cable. So I've got a cable here that runs the 12 volts from the battery up through here and plugs into the two connectors for the video TX voltage input and the camera voltage input. So they're kind of wise off right there and goes into these two connectors. And of course the vector will measure the voltage of these inputs so I'll be able to measure my video battery voltage along with my flight battery voltage. And the connectors that were plugged in there I'll probably just put some heat shrink over them to protect them. Also, to get the CG right, I have to get the weight right 
for the video pod. So I'm building up my video pod and going to populate it with the components such as the camera. Here I have a CXN Mobius and FPV camera pan tilt which I may use. And the transmitter, video transmitter. Try to get everything on there so that weight can be added when we do our balancing. So I've assembled my CXN pan tilt using some of this uh, 15 minute epoxy and two of these servos here which I got from Hobby King and they had a part number of 27569 so that's pretty much done and that's going to hold the Mobius camera and an FEO board camera from Security Cam 2000 and uh, I haven't put the screw in to lock the two together yet because I need to put this on the on the um, pod but I want to thank uh, Eduardo Fritas for his nice video on assembling this. Working on the video transmitter now, I'm just going to put a piece of heat shrink on this video cable, so uh, I'm going to take this plug off with a, with a needle here. And I've retrofitted the case that came with it so that I can use that as a heat sink and the wire will come out right here. There's a slot there to hold it in. So this is an 800 milliwatt transmitter and I've got it sandwiched in there with a basically a tongue depressor holding it against the frame. So that ought to make a good heat sink. And I've taken uh, some heat shrink tube and put it over the wires and then put it down inside one of these uh, troughs right here with a little bit of welder's glue. So that'll make a, a nice connection and it'll go straight down into the, into the frame. So just some finishing touches on the wing. I put some little uh, mounts here for the CG machine, little sockets for the using some washers. I got another socket over here, just two washers stacked up on each other. These are nylon washers and glued on with some welder's glue. And then I'm working on the wiring here, just finishing that up. Here's the two wires that provide the signals to the ESC to both to each ESC they're right there and then I have the leftover grounds and voltages that are coming from the ESC's and I'm just gonna tuck them in here I put a little heat shrink over the uh, servo plug and I'm just gonna tuck both servo plugs down in there maybe put a little piece of vinyl siding over it just get them out of the way because I don't need these wires the ground for these signal wires is actually on the main battery ground right here that goes to the ESC so I don't want any ground looping so I'm just going to have this ground and these signals and these grounds I'm not going to be using or the voltages coming from the ESC's I don't need the 5 volts I've got that already so that's the finishing touches and when I get done I'll just have the battery connection the signal connection and then of course I'll have the aileron servos on this Y connector connection so the extra grounds and 5 volt wires are now tucked underneath this piece of vinyl siding which I glued in. I also tie wrapped the ESC's to the wing and if you look on the other side the tie wraps go around a little piece of vinyl siding there that's glued on to keep it from pulling through the foam. I also expanded my battery compartment door so it's a little bit wider and uh, you know up and down wise up and down this way and put a platform here for the velcro for the video battery and that's just a tongue depressor I have the same thing on the other half of the fuselage so I'll have a platform for the battery got two new lipo batteries in for the twin star and they are zippy compact 4000 milliamp hour batteries and they got a 40 C rating and their four cell. So here's my completed video pod right here with both cameras mounted on the pan tilt. That's a CXN pan tilt. And I have my video transmitter right here. And all the wires coming off. Of course we have the two pan tilt wires here and the camera wire here. And then we have the transmitter wires. One's just for the transmitter but there's also an audio cable. 
So all those plug right into the vector, into my receiver. And I also have the new battery and the other battery I'm going to use for the video. So I need to get all this stuff onto the plane and then put it back on the CG machine and see how it works out. All right, so this video has been kind of long and a lot of details, but here's what I ended up with. It's on the CG machine right now being balanced, and I have the 4,000 milliamp hour 4 cell in this compartment down here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the yellow zippy compact right in there, 4,000 milliamp hour. And I got it pushed all the way back in the fuselage as far as it would go. Basically, that's where it is right now. And in the back, over here, I have the video battery in its compartment on its little shelf there. And it's pushed mostly forward. And that gives me a pretty good balance right there. And we're thinking about putting the airspeed sensor, going ahead and plugging that in here and running the wire through the fuselage. Here's the airspeed sensor. And we're thinking about running the tube up to the airspeed tube up here on top of the vertical stabilizer. We're trying to get away from any of the prop wash. The ideal place would be in the nose, but uh, it's a long reach up to the nose and we need more weight in the back anyway. So we're thinking about putting it right there on top of that vertical stabilizer. I forgot to mention there is a skid plate or belly pan that I put on the bottom here. It's clear and kind of invisible. But I got that from Park Flyer Plastics right there. All right, let's check out this OSD. All right, looks pretty good. Let's check out the pan tilt. Here's the pan. Here's the tilt. I see the nose of the plane. Looks good. Let's try a little throttle. Works good. And we got some control services working. Looks good to me. So that's pretty much it for this video. This has just been a lot of head scratching, trying to figure out where to put everything to keep it balanced. And that's what we got so far. The two halves still aren't glued together, so there's still opportunity to make changes. But uh, that's what I got so far. If anyone's got any ideas about the build, you can let me know. Post under the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks in advance for watching. Take your